In the event that the field flex ring joint requires disassembly at some future time, the following procedure can be used after it has been determined that the joint is a field flex ring and not a standard flex ring. Field flex ring disassembly kits consisting of a shim holder and high strength disassembly shims are available from American. Fast grip disassembly kits are used for 14 inch through 16 inch field flex ring sizes. In some cases, due to the time and effort involved for disassembly of these joints, it may be preferable to disassemble the pipeline at the nearest standard flex ring using a standard flex ring and spigot weld bead or other joint. In this manner, the field flex ring joint pipes and or fittings can be quickly removed as a unit. If it is necessary to separate a flex ring joint containing a field flex ring, disassembly kits should be used in this manner. Push the spigot back into the rear of the socket to disengage the restraining segments. Using gloves for hand protection, insert the long side of a disassembly shim into the groove in the shim holder. Two lengths of shims are supplied with the 18 inch to 36 inch field flex ring disassembly kit. The shorter shims may often be easier to use in some hard to reach locations, such as the bottom of a joint or when a small gap exists between the longer shims. Using a hammer, carefully drive a disassembly shim between the gripping teeth of the segments and the spigot of the pipe. Lifting or offsetting of the spigot relative to the socket to relieve metal-to-metal -metal contact may be helpful to insert some of the shims. It is sometimes easier to start a shim under the teeth if the holder is initially placed off-center, near the end of the shim, so that one corner of the shim is inserted first. Then the holder can be slid along the shim to start the middle and other end of the shim under the teeth. When properly in place, the long side of the shim should be visible one quarter to three quarters of an inch outside the socket for the 14 inch through 16 inch sizes and one and one half to two inches for the 18 inch through 36 inch sizes. Remove the holder from the shim and progressively place other shims around the joint. It is often easier to drive a shim under the teeth if the edge of one shim is initially inserted one eighth inch to a quarter inch under the previously placed shim. Shims should be in contact with one another or slightly overlapped to ensure all teeth are disengaged from the spigot. After all shims are inserted, place a reference mark on the spigot even with the exposed ends of the shims. After the spigot has been pulled out of the socket one and one half inch to two inches, Check the positioning of each shim. Any shim found to have been significantly pulled from its original position should be hammered back into the socket. The procedure of pulling the spigot out of the socket one and one half inch to two inches and adjusting the shim positioning may have to be repeated several times before the joint is completely disassembled. Pull, jack, or deflect the spigot out of the socket. It is important to note that the measured distance between the reference mark on the pulled out spigot and the exposed edge of the fully inserted shims is indicative of the length of spigot removed from the bell socket. A very tight joint may have to be separated by cutting the pipe with a pipe saw or oxyacetylene torch. For details on optimal installation methods and tools, call American's Customer Service Department at 1-800-442-ADIP or contact your American sales engineer for assistance.